Hello everybody. Um, tonight we're going to do some breakfast for dinner. Uh, I've been wanting to try out the griddle for some good breakfast items. I've done some French toast on it and that's about it. So we're going to try and see if we can make some hash browns. Uh, my wife wants a nice uh, Canadian bacon omelet. And we're going to try some hash browns. I haven't done hash browns on it yet. I've seen great videos with wonderful hash browns that come off these. We're going to see how well they come out today. So I do have some, these are dehydrated hash browns that we've rehydrated. I've heard that these work well and are similar to what Waffle House uses. So we're gonna give that a shot and see how well that works. I've got some Canadian bacon, nice and chopped up. Some sharp cheddar cheese. My wife loves this combination in an omelet. It works really, really well. A little bit of butter. And I've got three eggs already mixed up ready to go. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil. This is just regular canola oil. Get it down here and start it in our ring molds. Let me make sure you guys can see that. There, we'll set up a little better so you can actually see what's going on. Just a little bit of butter in each of these as well. Let that start going. I'm going to try this is just a half cup measuring coat full. Scoop in each ring mold. We'll set the we'll let those sit there for just a few minutes and see how these come out. All right, so I've let these go now for about two minutes. I'm going to season them with a little salt and pepper. Scoot them over, put a little bit more oil, and flip them on top, and we'll see how the top of those are looking. Seasoning. Oklahoma is a little windy, so it's wanting to go where it wants to go. The green molds have come off clean. Not bad. Scoot them over first. Oh well. Put them right back where they are and see how they look. I have to go a little longer. So we'll let that one right there go a little bit longer and we'll see how they turn out. I'm going to give these a flip and see how they look now. Starting to crisp out pretty good there. I'm going to let those keep going. These are uh, taking a little while and I flip those out. I want a good golden brown crisp on there, so we're going to let those continue to go. I've got the burner on this side here completely off. When I start the eggs, I don't want it to be uh, too hot, get it scrambled too fast. Whenever we're doing the omelet, let them go a couple more minutes. Let's give our hash browns another check. Now we're talking. Brown it up really nice. It'll be good and crispy on the outside. Nice and tender soft in the middle. That's looking really, really good. I'm going to continue to let those go just as they are. For just a few more minutes. But while we're letting these go, I'm going to start the ham for the omelet. Go ahead and let it go. I'm going to use just a little bit of oil. It won't take very much. Spread that out just a little. And start just cleaning up that ham, giving it some extra flavor before we put our eggs in. I love Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon on an omelet to me is better than just regular ham. There's a much better flavor to it in my opinion. 
My wife and I have been doing this now for about two years and we love it. So let that brown on this side, give it a flip, scoot it over to the cooler section and start the eggs on it. I was able to get those egg mold, molds off a lot cleaner on those hash browns as well. I think letting them go was the trick. We're gonna give these a flip and see what they look like on the other side. Of them. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. Beautiful golden brown. Nice and crispy. Exactly what we're looking for. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. I'm gonna let this sit right there on that side. The ham's still browning up a little bit. We'll start that on here in just a minute. All right, so we've let this ham go, the Canadian bacon go for a little while. Got a nice brown color on it. You can tell when it starts hopping around that it's ready for some eggs. So we're gonna scoop this over to our slightly cooler side. Make sure we're good and spread out. Make sure our eggs are nice and whipped up. Make sure there's a good amount of air in there, make them nice and fluffy. And this is just three beaten eggs. I don't know that you can pour this slow enough. We're going to let it just kind of saturate around that ham. Try to keep it in close to this place as possible. Holes. I actually meant to put a little butter down on this before I started, so we'll get to test out just how non-stick this uh, black stone really is, huh? Try to keep it somewhat of a square form. I'll let that cook most of the way through. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Got the cheddar cheese right there at the end. Fold it all up. Let it condense down as we finish off these beautiful hash browns. And these are getting nice and crispy. So I've got the eggs sitting there cooking slowly. I've added a little bit of salt and pepper and the uh, Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese. I buy that Tillamook from Sam's in the blocks, red the sleeve blocks. And I shred it myself. I used to be the guy that bought it pre-made all the time. And to be perfectly honest, ever since I've started buying it uh, and shredding it myself, you get a better melt, the flavor's better. We've really, really enjoyed it. Oh, that's right. Perfect. off for just a second get it all plated up all right let's get this plated we got our absolutely gorgeous hash browns on there those turned out really better than I expected we got a beautiful omelet beautifully cooked slide it on the plate and you guys saw I didn't even put any butter here all I had was the ham down put a little bit of oil with it screwed it over Dropped our eggs and that came off just crystal clear, perfectly smooth. My wife's going to love this. I can't wait to be able to serve this for, to her for dinner. If you like what you saw here today, do me a favor. Please subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up that you liked it. And we'll produce more videos shortly. You all have a great day.